So you know how I've been telling y'all that uh, the powers that shouldn't be are actively using apps that you never agreed to be used in a given way um, to train AI. You know how I talked about TikTok doing that and how I talked about the fact that like a lot of people training AI right now is the reason it's so effective because they're getting human input data. Well, wouldn't it be great if a popular chat app started to do exactly fucking that, but with private conversations um, and a variety of other things? Um, wouldn't it be great if that app had uh, connections to the Chinese government through Tencent? Um, and was connected to other intelligence agencies through its funding. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't that just, like, make your day? Well, look no further, because it looks like uh, Discord is making exactly that fucking choice. Discord is your place for AI with friends. Whether it's generating a shiny new avatar, or putting into words something you couldn't quite figure out on your own, new experiences using generative artificial intelligence are popping up every day. However, tons of people use AI in Discord might not be news to you. More than 30 million people already use AI apps on Discord every month. Midjourney's server is the biggest on Discord with more than 13 million members bringing their imaginations to pixels. Overall, users have created more than 1 billion unique images through the AI apps on Discord, and this is just the start. You know, I just realized that I sort of mentally censored the word hour, but that's the way they see you. They see you as their users. They see you as their users to do with as they please. That's what this is. That's what this is right here. I want you to think about that for a moment though, that the biggest server on Discord is a server training in AI. And I want you to think about that in context of the fact that the state loves AI. And for years, ever since the Bilderberg Group uh, started to go over AI, um, has said that AI should be, like, a huge thing on their light item agendas. A huge thing to embolden their power. So huge that once the war is over, um, Ukraine has promised an entirely AI government. So much so that China's already employing AI uh, to facially recognize all of the citizens in its giant prison system it calls a country. Um, the same kind of AI that I said was going to come to America um, and just needed a significant amount of training. That AI. Clearview. Uh, the kind of AI that was already being brought uh, to Flint, Michigan with the Robocop helmets. And the kind that's basically fucking everywhere now because of the thing I warned you about, which is that contact-free would eventually become an excuse to go completely contact-free based on your biometric data. And now people are either Sieg Heiling or... Sh sorry, shit, fuck, it's not that angle. Uh, they're doing this thing with their hand, or this thing with their hand. Not this thing, but it's basically the same thing because this is fascism. Or they're just looking directly into the facial recognition camera so that their AI can be trained on face models, and so that that AI can either approve or decline your purchases, it will. Wouldn't it be great if your chats on Discord were added to the pile, though? Wouldn't it be great if 13 million people uh, on Midjourney suddenly became a huge user base for training AI actively? For a government-connected app that works directly with AI-controlling governments? Man, well, shucks, 
that would be a bad thing if it happened, but it's not happening, right? Well, almost 3 million Discord servers include an AI experience, ranging from generating gaming assets to groups writing novels with AI to com AI companions, AI companies, and AI-based learning communities. More than 10% of new Discord users are joining specifically to access AI interest-based communities on our platform. I want you to think about all of the things that they just listed now. Fucking sad this is. They need AI to write novels to make images for companionship. Doesn't it strike you that maybe in a world that's increasingly divided, in a, a bottom class that's increasingly encouraged to fight each other, in, um, you know, the, the, the workers' revolution disrupting uh, state capitalist fascist hell that's being built, that maybe they might want you to think that the only real companionship you could get is from an AI? How many of you, tell me in the comments, have gotten an ad for an AI companion. Tell me, because I guarantee it's a fuck ton of you. And and let me just be super fucking clear here. This is evil. This isn't just neutral. This is evil. And it's going to get so much worse. Why is Discord becoming the home for AI? Simple. On Discord, you can enjoy AI with friends. Rather than just going solo with an app, you and your friends can see what sorts of exciting, wild, and sometimes silly results come from prompts like Robo Hamster, Cotton Cardboard Box, Renaissance Painting. Sorry, Nelly. Look at how quirky they're being. They're saying, yeah, you're just going to make cute little robot hamsters. You're going to make cute little art. You're not training your new robot overlords. You're not training the new super state. You're not training literally Skynet, but called Skyborg, like I talked about last time. You're not training the future of your own enslavement. You're just building cute widow images. But every time you help with these image generation softwares, you help these image generation softwares generate images like the face sketches that we talked about last time to generate witnesses. But those witness generations are almost always really fucking bad for minorities and people the government wants to oppress. So obviously give this kind of power to a Chinese government affiliated company. Obviously give this kind of power to Discord. That won't backfire at fucking all, will it? And it says, on Discord, you can use AI to supercharge your conversation with friends. <laughs> you can brainstorm together, create together, make memes together. It's both entertainment and utility. Fun and informative. You're not creating shit together. You're not making memes together. You're not brainstorming together. That's not you doing it. It's literally artificial intelligence doing it and you using what it shits out. It's not creative on your part to do this. So let's be super fucking clear here that AI is not a substitute for humanity, and it never will be, and all this language is super fucking Orwellian and super fucking gross, and also very close to The Running Man, which I also talked about last time, which you should still read the book and not watch the movie. But this, this person goes on and says, As a developer myself, what's really exciting is seeing how teams and communities use our platform as their sandbox and build AI services directly on Discord. Open source teams are prototyping new models with early community members and Discord servers, and AI fans are sharing their favorite large language model prompts with each other. For example, the creators of Stable Diffusion, the popular open source image model, first met and collaborated in a Discord community. Yeah, that's great propaganda. We work hard to ensure that everyone on Discord is able to do all of this in a safe, positive environment and are committed to protecting the privacy and data of our users. Our AI features use OpenAI technology, 
But OpenAI cannot use Discord user data to train its general models. Uh-huh, sure. Like other Discord products, these features can only store and use information as described in our privacy policy, and they do not record, store, or use any voice or vid video call content from users. Uh-huh. We'll get to why I doubt that shortly. Rest assured, if our policy ever changes, we will disclose that to our users in advance of any implementation. But today we're sharing a few new things about AI on Discord. Three really cool AI experiences we're launching as free public experiments in a limited number of servers. Clyde, Automod AI, and Conversation Summaries. So basically, uh, Automod is the kind of AI that Active Fence will use. The kind of AI that Active Fence will use is being trained in Discord right now. And the same with Clyde, but Clyde is just, you know, the normal bot, but they added an AI layer to it. Two sneak previews of future AI explorations we're excited about. Avatar Remix and a whiteboard with AI prototype. News about a new Discord AI incubator to help fund innovative AI startups. Clyde, you can make fucking images, right? Um, you can talk to Clyde. Clyde isn't your new companion. You can just have long conversations with Clyde. Include Clyde in your friends' conversations. Um, and, and use Clyde to generate images and be all funny and shit. And isn't that wacky and zany? Clyde is learning interesting new and fun things every day, and we're excited to continue testing and iterating so Clyde becomes a fundamental part of the Discord experience soon. Automod AI, where it's like, next up is Automod. Last year, we introduced Automod to take some of the load off of manually moderating a server. To date, Automod has automatically blocked more than 45 million unwanted messages from servers. Or, you know, messages that weren't unwanted but were totally fine. Uh, fun story. Uh, a fan art of Sonic.exe was considered explicit content, even though it featured exactly nothing explicit and only a, a few little trickles of blood coming down from his face. Um, that's, that's how Automod works. It's not that it stops unwanted things. It's that it stops everything. And maybe some things might be unwanted. And, and, and that's why they're taking Automod to the next level, harnessing the power of large language models. Moderators can leverage Automod AI, which will use open AI technology to find and alert the moderator whenever server rules may have been broken. The Automod AI experiment begins in a limited number of servers today. Server admins can choose to enable this feature and they can turn it off at any time. While Automod AI uses OpenAI technology, OpenAI cannot use a Discord user data uh, to train its generational models. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then conversation summaries, that's fairly straightforward. If you can't be arsed to goddamn read a conversation, you can just ask it to tell you what happened. That's not going to be biased in favor of one side or another at all. That's not going to cause hostility. No, it's just fun and handy. Instead of just being like, you know, the old days where you ask people what happened, you now have an AI who can tell you what happened. And no way that's going to end fucking poorly. And then Avatar Remix, you can make cute little appies. And, and it's not like that's going to use your face. It's not like it's going to use any of your user data. It, it can't do that. They promise. Right? And, and it's, it's, it's publicly available. It's open source. So, you know, it's obviously totally fine. Uh, whiteboard, you can draw a stupid cartoon thing and then tell, tell it what it is and it will generate it for you. Um, but wait! They're fun throwing $5 million to fund strategic partners, developers, and early stage startups to bring their creativity to Discord. They encourage developers to check out their, uh, 
thing to learn more about their ecosystem fund. And basically what this is, is it's like, hey, come help us add AI to every part of your Discord experience. So why do I keep on doubting whether or not Discord is being honest here? Well, maybe because the source of the information I got was a, a user on Twitter who goes by Nuke Boy, or the Loathsome Cat poster right now, so apparently Discord is jumping on the AI train and they want to start using user data and recording voice calls to train AI without user consent. Everyone is opted in by default, so please go turn off these two settings so they won't be able to use your data, please and thank you. And then they go on to further clarify. Apparently it won't be recording voice calls yet, which is good, but still deactivate your shit, because this is your data being used to get them money without your consent. And it's also used to train voiceover AIs, which is fucking horrid. So, they said that at first. They updated their thing and said, No! Nah, it can't train generative models, but... Update. LOL, fuck you. Content you create. This includes any content that you upload to the service. For example, you may write messages or posts send voice messages, create custom emojis, create short recordings of go live activity, or upload and share files through the services. This also includes your profile information and the information you provide when you create servers. That's in their terms. And, update, 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 this isn't worrying at all. Discord will possibly record your video calls, voice calls, and channels, including screen shares. With their new privacy policy, which will be effective after the 27th March, Discord will record and store your video calls, voice calls, channels, including your screen shares. They have removed from their terms of service, we generally do not store the contents of video or voice calls or channels, and we also don't store streaming content when you share your screen, out of their privacy policy, which is and was effective from March 28th, 2022, to March 26, 2023. So basically, Discord is probably being a little bit dishonest, but if they aren't, for legal reasons, I can say it's still not a good thing because this culture of training AI because it's fun and wacky and it makes something easier, that's not fucking good enough. You're training the tools of your enslavement, and you're saying that it's fine. Maybe it's not fucking fine. And maybe this slow creep into every aspect of your life of AI, maybe this concurrent with AI tools already being used by the Chinese government and many governments around the world, and maybe this AI facial recognition that's being implemented in the US, and maybe the AI governments that they're promising to create, maybe all of this is creating a technocratic fascist hellhole dystopia, and we should resist it, not embrace it. Because if you ask me, this just gives me all the more reason to smash the fucking...